So we created this planning model. It's called CIDA, C-I-D-A-W, all capitals. And it stands for Clarify, Illuminate, Design, Act, with Worldview Intelligence at the center, Worldview Intelligence leadership informing all of those aspects mm -hmm. and all of those aspects informing Worldview Intelligence as well. A few years ago, uh, as we were sharing our work with colleagues, particularly in Europe, um, people would ask us what else we had in addition to the six dimensions. And we were pretty enamored with the impact of the six dimensions framework. And so uh, it took a while to understand what they were really asking us. But what they were asking us was to articulate our own uh, inherent intuitive process uh, that we used with our clients every time we began work with them and as we move throughout phases of a project. It was interesting to say, recognize what we were doing intuitively, nice process flow, and really have to, to describe it, to right. put, it, put a structure to it, uh, so that, uh, because others want to listen to us give case studies and go, well, okay, how do I do that? You know, what's the structure you used? And that's where CETA emerged. We still do it intuitively, but you know, because um, it's just embedded in how we approach our work, but we can now just describe the steps to others and we find people like it and use it. And it especially is nicely attached to the six dimensions. It's a core element of our level two program, which people are taking right now. And this notion of clarify what's the purpose of the work, what are the outcomes that we're looking for. We find the six dimensions framework really useful in the illuminate phase so we can illuminate not just worldviews but hidden pat patterns and dynamics that might be influencing getting to the outcomes that a client wants to get to. And with design, we pull all of that together into a process for a day or for a project over a period of time. Mm -hmm. And ACT, of course, is getting the stuff done, mm -hmm. <laughs> including feedback and evaluation mechanisms. And then overlaying all of that is the worldview intelligence approach right. to leadership or process management or however people are interacting with each other in that relational space. Not only is it helpful to think about it in phases, but it's an iterative planning model, which means that once we've designed something, we might want to go back and clarify or do some more illumination. Mm -hmm. And certainly once we've been um, in the work with a client during ACT, um, that may well inform a next iteration of what our planning process needs to be. Yeah. So it's a very dynamic, very alive model. Right.